Hey guys, this is Vesper with Killy again, and we're doing the Kami breakdown this time with our recorded footage from E3. So, Killy, you played Kami a lot more than I did, and by a lot more, I think I don't play it at all. <laughs> so, let's get started. Okay, so going over Kami's movement here, as you can see in the footage, she's got the second fastest forward walking speed in the game, or at least in the E3 build. It's really close to Chun Li's. And uh, she's got the fastest backwards walking speed. Uh, her forward dashes have short range, but they're fast, which is mm -hmm. kind of different from how they were in SF4. Yeah. Uh, her back dashes are about the same range and speed as her forward dashes. And then her jump distance is shorter than uh, Ryu and Nash, but the jump height's about the same. Overall, I'd say she's the fastest character right now, just because she's got almost the same walk speed as Chun-Li, but her jump is not floaty, yeah. basically. For sure, yeah. She's definitely felt like the fastest character in the E3 build. So going over her normals, I'm just going to go over her most notable, uh, notable normals. Mm -hmm. uh, so starting with Stand, Heavy Punch. It's a good close range normal, it's fast for a heavy normal, and it also links into her standing medium punch, uh, special special cancelable as well. Uh, standing light kick is also fast startup, uh, good range, and has pretty good recovery. It's actually really good at harassing the opponent, so if you can go like stand light kick, walk stand light kick, and kind of uh, pressure, pressure them, them down. down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, her stand medium kick is amazing. Really good startup for a medium normal, uh, amazing range, it's just a really good footsie tool, just like kind of like the older SF uh, titles she's been in. St standing medium kick is probably her best poke, isn't it? Uh, standing medium kick or crutch medium kick are probably her best pokes. Okay. Uh, stand heavy kick. Now this one's kind of weird. It's uh, different from her other games. Like she used to do that weird uh, long range. Yeah, which just stretches out both their legs kind yeah. of thing. It's kind of like Iori's uh, sweep and KOF kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. Uh, this one, she doesn't do that. She kind of like does this weird spin kick type move. Uh -huh. um, so it doesn't have the range as the old games. We couldn't really find much use for this normal. Um, and it's unsafe on block. The only thing that worth mentioning really is that it's her crush counter and you can combo after it. But it's not her only crush counter. No, she has two crush counters, but this is the we'll first one. We'll talk about that in a bit here. So it, can it be used as anti-air though? Uh, I don't know. We didn't it's got that weird like diagonal angle. We didn't really test it though. Yeah, I'm not sure if it can be used as an anti-air, but the crush counter properties are really nice. You actually have enough time to link a cannon drill raw. Light, light, light cannon drill. Um, if you got V trigger, you can even do um, crush counter, stun, heavy kick into mm -hmm. V trigger, spiral arrow, mm -hmm. and then DP or super right afterwards. So it's got some good combo potential for it. Like most of Kami's normals are, they they don't do too much damage like other heavy normals would, but they're they're really fast. You know, yeah. compared to most characters. Now moving on to her crouching normals, uh, the most notable ones are starting with crouching light punch. It's just really fast. Links to Crouch Medium Punch, which is very SF4-ish. She's like one of the only characters we saw that could do that, pretty much. Or she can like fish for it in block strings. Yeah, like, just link after her crouching chains, basically. Yeah. To a long, really good hit confirm. Like most characters can do something similar, but they usually have to go from like crouching normal to a standing normal and then to a medium normal. But Kami, she can do it off of crouching. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and she can like really fish for it. Com like combined with her walk speed, she can just harass with like crouch light punch and then fish for it into crouch medium punch. Mm -hmm. uh, her crouch... Uh, Heavy punch, it's good range, slow, uh, doesn't hit as high up as it used to in, in past games. So like in past games, you could sort of use her crouch heavy punch as a as an anti-air, but not so much in this version. Okay. Um, it's also her second crush counter. Oh, okay, okay. And you can get some pretty good combos from it too. So which, which, which crush counter do you think would be her primary one that you'd be using more? Probably her crouch uh, heavy punch. Okay. But you have to kind of use it at a range. If you do it too close, um, you risk punishment. Like both cr uh, both crush counter normals, they're they're negative on block for sure. So you got to be careful with their use of it. So As a safe bet, like I think you could just do like a normal cannon drill right after you get a crush counter. That'd be easy to confirm, yeah. right? I think with crouch, uh, crouch uh, heavy punch, you might be able to link into like crouch medium kick afterwards. Oh, interesting. But I know with her stand heavy kick um, crush counter, we couldn't link crouch medium kick after. Okay. Uh, her next notable crouching normal is crouch medium kick, and this is this is her probably best poke. I think. Okay, it's not the longest range poke, but it, it hits low. It right? hits low and it's special cancelable, which is really important. Like when you're playing the footsie game with Kami, crouch medium kick is so good at with punishing, mm -hmm. just amazing. Like crouch, you use stand medium kick more to harass and stuff, and then you use crouch medium kick for like the um, whip punishing and, and getting that knocked down because you can just special cancel to spiral arrow afterwards. Okay. I think it's her best footsie normal. Okay. Uh, next one is her crouch heavy kick. It's just a standard sweep. Pretty good range. 
pretty good start up for heavy normal. Um, just another tool in her footsie game. It's more about like her movement that makes the normal good. You know, yeah, what I mean? like yeah. it complements her other normals really, really well. Exactly. Uh, again, you have to be careful with it. It's not safe on block. The majority of crouching heavy kicks in this game are just not safe. Yeah, like they did that on purpose. Yeah. Okay, now moving on to her jumping normals. Um, there's not very many notable jumping normals she has. They're kind of wonky. Yeah, her her jumping punches are just really weird hitboxes. Um, even her jumping like lighter um, kick normals, mm -hmm. they're they're not that great either. Um, they're mostly like they look like they're good for air to air situations. They look like their ass. That's what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them look pretty bad. Um, but the only notable ones I found were her jumping light kick. And okay. that, that's because it's her cross-up in the game. Yeah, some people were saying that she didn't have a cross-up. No, her, that was kind of weird. Her jumping light kick is definitely her cross-up. Yeah, don't forget that. Uh, jumping medium kick definitely doesn't it, cross-up. It, it's not easy to land that cross-up, though. No. It's, okay. it's kind of wonky. And, like, you gotta hit it kind of deep to combo afterwards. Yeah, because the, the hit stun on jump attacks in this game is really, really low, like third strike. So you gotta be on point with that. Yeah, and then uh, her only other notable jumping attack is jump heavy kick. Um, best air to ground approach, and it's actually pretty deceiving, like the range on it. Based on how it looks, it's actually really long range. But it's good for like jumping over projectiles yeah. and stuff like that. It kind of like raises her hitbox too, because of the way the way it looks like. Like she just kind of shoots her leg straight forward when she does this kick. It's very. It looks completely different than uh, her SF4 jumping uh, heavy kick. So when you do it. It's it's uh, it can like raise her hitbox and go over projectiles that way too. I think they like made her jumping normals kind of ass on purpose because most of the way she's getting in is using her cannon strike. You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. it's her special moves that that they're going for for exactly. her air to ground. You know? Exactly. Okay. Now we're looking at her command normals. Um, first one here is her back heavy punch. Uh, it's a target combo starter. It's actually a really good target combo starter. This thing is fast. It's like super fast. This normal is really good at close range. Like, I mean, the range is very limited, but when its application is really good. I wouldn't be surprised if this comes out in like four frames. Seriously, it's, it is it's really fast. fast. Uh, so it's a good frame trap tool. Uh, good for anti-air and close range jumps and like cross-ups too. You seen that? Yeah. Really? So if they try to like, if you. If you anticipate it properly, yeah. and you like, you see him go for a cross up at closer ranges. You can just go back uh, heavy punch and just knock him out of the air. Oh, that's odd. Kind of like KOF style. Uh, really good for counter hit setups, and uh, it's an amazing combo starter and a good combo filler too. Like it's really versatile in combos. You'll be using a lot. Uh, you can also cancel into your V trigger and mm -hmm. then extend the combo that way. So you can go like back heavy punch, V trigger, crouch medium kick, spiral arrow into cannon Ooh. cannon uh, spike or super. Like it's just amazing. Nice. So her other command normal is brand new for her forward heavy kick. Uh, it looks strange because she kind of does this double knee like she hops and does this double knee uh, to the opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, does two hits. I'm not sure if it goes over lows, so like if it low crushes. I highly doubt it, man. But uh, yeah, it, it's kind of tough to use. Like you, It's really good to start a combo, and you kind of want to fish for it, but it's slightly negative on block. So you got to be really careful that you're spacing with this normal. But if you do um, hit someone fit, you can actually combo into her back uh, heavy punch. Serious normal. damage. Some serious damage if you land this. And then afterwards, it's like combo town. And yeah, you just get so much damage from like, it. Like, landing the heavy and then linking into another heavy is just insane for Kami in general. And then if she get, if she has her V-Trigger ready, then you can go into that V-Trigger combo I mentioned previously. So mm -hmm. it's a really important tool in her repertoire. So Kami has one target combo uh, in this version of, of Street Fighter. And it's um, back, heavy punch, into heavy kick. And it's just, it just looks exactly like the two normals independently. She just does back heavy punch into her standing heavy kick. Uh, causes a knockdown on hit, but you can actually link into her critical art after. So you can do something like uh, forward heavy kick into back heavy punch into heavy kick and then just link right into her uh, super. But it's kind of hard to do. Like the timing is kind of tight. Yeah, I think the timing is kind of late after the target combo. If you try to do it right away, just the, the critical art doesn't come out. So you gotta, I think it's a late. Uh, cancel, not cancel, but late link. Yeah, it's kind of similar to reuse target combo, but just remember it's a back hard punch into heavy kick. Yeah. Okay, now looking at her special moves. Um, first one is her spiral arrow. This is performed like other games, core circle forward kick. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple change properties to this version. Um, the strength of it determines the distance she travels, so no difference there. Yeah, nothing new. Um, but it no longer hits low. 
Oh, okay. So you can block these standing, uh, and they cause a knockdown on hit. So you can't just bulldog basically and just you know throw it out. Yeah, you can't you can't just randomly throw it out and hope it hits low. Yeah. So you gotta be uh, you gotta space that properly, mm -hmm. and you gotta be careful of how uh, you use it. Okay. Uh, the EX version starts up faster, travels pretty far, and does two hits. Um, they kind of go flying up. Oh, it also pierces. Okay. So when I say pierces, if they block. Uh, spiral arrow or EX spiral arrow, she goes right through them. Oh, that's interesting. So she doesn't stop in front like uh, SF4 or the, or the other game. She just actually goes right through them. So if you did this point blank, she can might she might be safe. Like enough. if you're trapped in the corner or something, maybe. Oh yeah, you're, you, definitely, you you're getting out, punished. You know you're getting punished. Yeah. But if you do this like mid screen and. Uh, but I mean, like if Cammy's in the corner and she throws oh, yeah, it yeah, out, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's kind of like gets her out. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's a little harder to punish because it pierces. Yeah. So that's an interesting property they've added here. Cool. Uh, next special move is her cannon spike. This is uh, dragon punch with kick. Nothing really new with this yep. one. Uh, again, strength determines her distance and height. The stronger the strength, the farther and higher she travels. Um, I think all of them have invincibility on startup. It, it sure, seems like it, it sure felt that it way. It beats out like everything. Yeah, they're just really good anti airs. Yeah, uh, and the active frames are are long. Like, yeah. Like you, it's just it's kind of similar to the older uh, SF games. Like the active frames on on Cannon Spike were always long. It's a very reliable anti-air. Um, knocks down on hit, nothing new there. Uh, the EX version, however, does three hits. Okay. Okay. Looking at her next special move, Cannon Strike. Uh, to do this, you have to be jumping forward, and then you do Coral Circle Back Kick. Only forward yeah. on the normal version. The so normal this is like her dive kick move. Yeah. Uh, it has a minimum height restriction. I think it's like around the peak of her jump. Yeah, you can't do it too low. Like it stops you from tiger it basically for the normal version. Yeah. Uh, and the strength determines the speed and the angle that she comes down at. Okay. Uh, it's it's slightly negative at the peak of her jump. So yeah. if they block it, and depending also where they block it, so you want to aim for like their toes, like usual dive kicks here. Makes sense. To get the most like frame advantage and be able to combo off of it. Okay. Uh, the EX version has no minimum height restriction though, so you can TK that one. Uh, it launches on hit, so that's a new property to it. And it puts them in a juggle state. So it launches on hit on the EX version? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, it puts them in a juggle state so you can combo afterwards, like DP, and uh, I think I saw Ricky. You here. could do a sweep. Yeah. Some of the other pro players were doing sweeps right afterwards for that knockdown. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the EX version is kind of has that similar piercing property, like uh, EX spiral arrow, so it goes right through the opponent on block. So you can actually, um, if you do it high enough, you actually go right through them and end up on the opposite side. What hits? What happens when you hit them with the normal version and they don't block it? Uh, they don't block it. If they get hit, then uh, she just lands right in front of them. So she doesn't pierce. Uh, she doesn't go right through them, and it doesn't launch on hit. So she'll she'll be able to land. If you hit it deep enough, she'll be able to land and then continue the combo. Okay. One more thing to note with cannon strike is you can no longer cross up with it. So basically, you can't just aim it and aim behind their head or their neck or whatever, and it'll cause a cross-up kind of thing, like uh, Akuma's like dive kick shenanigans with his demon flip. Yeah, there's no way you can delay it or change the trajectory or something. I'll always hit in front or whatever direction Kami was before she did the attack. Exactly. Okay, Kami's last special move is her hooligan combination, which is done by half circle forward punch. Mm -hmm. That move was almost impossible to do with the joysticks at E3, by the way. Yeah, we kept, sc <laughs> we kept screwing that up. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, the strength determines the height and distance, kind of like her other special moves. So the stronger the punch button you use, uh, the lower the height and the farther she travels. Okay. Uh, if you leave it neutral, like if you don't push anything, she will do the razor edge slicer follow-up, which is the kind of sliding kick she does. Okay. The, uh, that follow-up, it hits low and it knocks down. All right. Um, if the tool again travels past the opponent, the razor edge slicer will auto correct, so she'll like slide back towards them. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah, exactly. So that's kind of tricky. Yeah, so it's like a new addition they've uh, made with the hooligan combination. So you just don't look like an idiot if you misjudge the range, basically. Yeah, and it creates a new, new tricky setups with her, so she can like cancel into it off of her normals. Like uh, you saw, I think it was like K Brad or something like that. They were going like crouch light, crouch light, crouch medium punch, cancel the hooligan, and then start these. Okay. Um, these weird crossover situations. Cool. The next follow-up with her hooligan combination is Fatal Leg Twister, which is um, if you're close to them while they're grounded and you push light punch and light kick. So throw. Yeah. She will do the grounded throw variation. So light punch, light kick at the same time. Yeah. 
So it's a throw, it's unblockable, uh, it whiffs on crouching characters, uh, nothing really special to it. Uh, the other version is when they're in the air and you do light punch and light kick at the same time, it's an air throw. And again, it causes a knockdown, unblockable, all that stuff. Okay, uh, another thing too is if you press it too early or you just mistime it, you're not close enough to the opponent, Kami won't have a whiff throw animation. She'll simply just cancel out the hooving combination and just land. Yeah. Okay, the last follow-up to hooligan combination is cannon strike, and this is done by pressing kick while she's in in the air with hooligan. Uh, it's basically exactly the same as her regular cannon strike. Uh, the only difference is that again, if hooligan goes past the opponent and then you press kick, it auto corrects just like the the neutral like do nothing. Yeah, so this is really weird. So you can't cross up with it technically. But you can uh, get to the other side of the opponent using the hooligan, and thus it becomes a cross up. Yeah. So just remember, always block in the direction Kami was before she did uh, the cannon strike. And uh, even though it is the same as a normal cannon strike, she can do it a little bit lower to the ground using the hooligan, basically. Yeah, because the hooligan set uh, height based yeah. on the punch button you use. Mm -hmm. But it's really tricky, man, because like when she lands, you could just go another. Uh, hard punch, for example, into a hooligan and then cross up with it and then do the cannon strike and just do it constantly over and over again. Yeah, and it gets even more trickier when V-Trigger is active. Yeah, because she pierces through them and lands like on the same side she started in the first place. Yeah, so she, it gets crazier as uh, the match goes on. Mm -hmm. Okay, the EX hooligan combination has faster startup than the regulars, and in terms of height, it's about the same as the medium kick version. Okay. Uh, all the follow-ups afterwards, they also get powered up, so the no, no button input, the, the sliding kick. It does three hits and it launches. Uh, cannon strike, it's the same as her regular EX cannon strike. Makes sense. And then uh, EX fatal leg slicer and the uh, air throw what, version, there, there's no real difference. It's just that them. the EX hooligan is faster in general, so you can just, you know, catch them sleeping and then throw them basically. Exactly. But for the most part, all the moves that she does in her hooligan are just the EX versions of them. Yeah. Okay, moving on to her V skill. This is her spinning back fist special that she used yeah, to have. Yeah, it's weird, man. I can't believe they used this for her V skill. I think it's actually an interesting change that they did. Uh, this one has projectile invincibility, just like the other versions. Uh, I think it's actually better than the, uh, yeah, like the well, other ones. Yeah, because you don't have to do a motion, right? You just hit the mediums and it comes out right away. Like, it's really easy to react to projectiles with this. Yes, it is. Um, it auto-corrects if you go past them too. So it's just like her hooligan combination. If you if you do it close to the opponent... Like about sweep distance, I would say. Yeah, yeah. and it goes past them, she, she uh, auto-corrects and goes back and then does the uh, spinning back fist. Yeah, it's really weird. And of course, she'll only gain a V-gauge meter on contact with it. You can't just whiff it. Exactly. I believe on counter hit, you can actually combo right afterwards. What? But like, it's it's super tricky to get that counter hit to work. Really? That That's crazy. Yeah, this is pretty decent V skill for her, considering that she's a really aggressive character. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, a lot of characters in Street Fighter V seem to have something to deal with projectiles, right? And this seems like the move to do. Like, yeah. most of their V skills in this game are just about, you know, nullifying zoning stuff. Yeah, either... either um nullifying or countering projectiles or, or avoiding projectiles altogether. Mm -hmm. And one thing to keep in mind too is that most V skills that nullify projectile, they can't do it to projectiles that are more than one hit, like EX versions, right? But this one, since it just goes through projectiles, it doesn't have to worry about that kind of thing. Exactly. Okay, now her V trigger uh, is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. It powers up her spiral arrow, cannon spike, cannon strike, and uh, some of the hooligan follow-ups. So they all do multiple hits, and then they all have that piercing property where they just go through the opponent on block. Uh, obviously they do more damage because of the more hits. And the other interesting uh, feature about her V-Trigger is that she doesn't gain access to her EX moves during uh, V-Trigger. Which is really weird. There's no other character that's like that. Uh, the other thing is when you use a special move during her V-Trigger state, the specials drain one third of her V-Gauge timer. It's almost half the bar, but by the time she does two specials that are augmented, she has about, I'd say, 10-15% of her bar left. So because of that, you can do three. Yeah, at most you can do three specials and that's it. Mm -hmm. And just to clarify with the Hoogan combination, it's basically all the moves that are similar to Spiral Arrow, Cannon Spike, and her Cannon Strike that are uh, augmented. So it's, it's not technically the hooligan that's uh, augmented, it's just the follow-up attacks exactly. that are similar to those moves. Yeah, but her her air throw and ground throw off of hooligan, they don't get augmented. Yeah, they don't do anything, that's why you have no footage of it. Yeah. So 
So the V-Trigger version of her Spiral Arrow does five hits and launches on hit, and then it puts them in a juggle state. So you can combo into uh, her V-Trigger version of Cannon Spike afterwards. It, her V-Trigger activation is actually pretty fast too. So there's like a scenario where you saw someone activate um, V-Trigger of Birdie, and mm -hmm. Cammy had enough time to go raw V-Trigger and then punish with Spiral Arrow afterwards. And you can also use it as like an anti-air. So similar to like Ryu and Bison, if you see them jumping, you can activate the V-Trigger and then uh, punish with a DP after. Yeah, and like that's the reason why you can't do the EX versions of her special moves after you activate V-Trigger, because what's the point? The normal versions are basically the EX versions, but better. Exactly. So just as you said, there's no reason to have access to her EX specials uh, because it's projectile invincible. That's true. Now her V-Trigger version of Cannon Spike isn't really special. It does five hits, more damage, and that's about it. It does a lot of damage, man. It is pretty special in regards <laughs> to damage, dude. Just damage. Like her, her Cannon Spike is good at just in general, but for to have this thing do five hits and that much damage is insane, man. It's really scary to jump on Cammy. Yeah, but uh, beyond that, there's no real like special properties and then, like, to it. Her activation or V-Trigger is so fast, and then you hit by this thing, like right off the bat, you know what I mean? It's pretty scary overall. It is. But yeah, beyond that, there's no, as far as we know, there were no additional properties. And like you said before, it links into the V-Trigger version of her cannon drill. Yeah. Her V-Trigger cannon strike, it does three hits, she recovers instantly afterwards. Uh, you can combo follow up, it's like easier to combo follow up. It's insane. Um, and you can actually do it while jumping backwards. Which is even more insane. <laughs> uh, it still has the minimum height restriction on it. So, so. You, you can't you can't tiger knee cancel no, them, basically, no. yeah. Um, if it hits airborne, it puts them in a juggle state. So if they're jumping and you jump back, do it, or jump forward, whatever, and you hit them out of the air, it actually puts them in that spinning juggle state. Okay. And then, it, and then you can like combo into DP, or if not, if you drop what? it, really? it just falls. That's crazy. It, it's really good. Yeah. And uh, it pierces through them, like you said, and then can you follow up after when you pierce through them? Yes. Really? Yeah. Man, that's, that's pretty nutty. And if they block it, it's a little bit harder to punish because of the fact that it pierces, it pierces through them. Right. And then, yeah, like we were saying before with that shenanigan with the hooligan, and you keep just piercing through them, you know, hard punch hooligan, uh, and then you use cannon strike, pierce through them, and keep doing it over and over again. You're basically just all over the place here. Yeah, and they have to block uh, the opposite side right afterwards. So mm -hmm. if you pierce through them and you start mashing on her light punches, if they're not blocking correctly, like as a cross up afterwards, they'll get hit and then you get a full combo. And it's fast too. It's really fast. Just overall a very scary move in her repertoire. If, if only it was an overhead. <laughs> oh, if God. only it was an overhead. So her V reversals in the E3 build was the only version where you have to actually go forward and three kicks. Everyone else, yeah, everyone else was punches, but mm -hmm. uh, Camry is three kicks. I wouldn't be surprised if they change it later because it's kind of weird that she's the only character that's forward three kicks, basically. I think Ken's probably forward and three kicks. I don't know for that a fact. would kind of fix it up a little bit, but, but I don't understand why they would overcomplicate it. You know what I mean? Because like. Why, why would it have to be fourth? Yeah, you know what I mean? why, why, why make, make it uh, universal? Exactly. You know what I mean? I, like, no reason to make it uh, character specific. Anyways, back to the move. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because it actually crosses over, switches sides with the opponent. So she kind of goes through them and then she kicks them in the back. So it's actually really good if she's cornered and then she does the V reversal. Even if they block it because it is slow on store like the rest of the V reversals, it gets her out of the corner. I think this is like the best V reversal. Um, Tied with Nash, I guess, because they both literally get you out of the corner if you use it. Exactly. Because you swap the sides. Yeah, it's it's really good for that purpose only. So it's actually kind of worth spending the one V gauge stock just to get out of like corner situation. Yeah, because that's most of the time that's when you want to use the V reversal, right? Is if you're in the corner, and this does both. You know what I mean? It gets you out of that block stun, and it puts you. It reverses the tables basically. Yeah. Now her critical art is pretty crazy in itself too. It's really fast on startup. Um, I think it has startup invincibility, but I'm not exactly sure. I wouldn't be surprised. And uh, the strength of the button determines the angle of attack. Oh, so, so it's kind of like uh, Makoto's Ultra 2, I yeah, guess? Yeah, yeah. So the lighter, the light kick version travels like the shortest range, and then as you increase in strength, it travels farther. Mm -hmm. um, so you can actually like full screen punish fireballs with this. Nuts. Uh, and it like combos off of so many different things too. Yeah. Like especially in V trigger, her target combo. You can even special cancel, or sorry, super cancel out of spiral arrow. Like Which is absolutely insane. Just so many uh, ways to combo into it. So. And don't forget that guys, because most of the footage we've seen, when people do spiral arrow, they'll naturally do uh, cannon spike and do the DP just to like, they think it's the most damage. But naturally, if you have a full EX meter, you want to do your critical art instead. Yeah, I think it does about 
40-50% damage. Do you remember what strength of the super you use after you do a, ca a cannon drill? I think I was using the heavy kick version, but I can't remember off the top of my head anymore. Okay. So we're just going to leave some text on the screen, guys. Just some combos to get you started on Kami. We'll just put some of the practical ones. And uh, we didn't have much footage of... I don't think we have any footage of any Kami combos that we've done. So sorry about that, guys. But anyways, it's on the screen, so you guys can just check it later. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. That's it for our Kami breakdown. And we'll be doing the rest of the characters soon in the future. So once again, thanks for watching. Peace.